Hey everybody, this is Glattercat and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. Let's get back to it. We got some big projects going on. Uh, let's just, um, we're working on food for our new colony setup. And we're doing some terraforming to make space for our new colony setup. And it looks like we've got a mining crew that needs new designations. Let's jump in. We're going to take a quick tour of the island, make sure there's no fires to put out. And then we're going to get back to working on our farming area over here. And we need to turn our compost into fertilizer and get that routed into the farms. And then we've got a little reconfiguring of our ethanol plant. Get the animal food byproduct out of here and into kind of the main or the newer setup. Let's make the rounds here. It looks like these guys need more designations. I just edited this um, area of effect for the mine control tower just off camera. Let's um, get some designations in here so they have something to chew on. Flat mining designation level ones. Level one, fellas, you can do all you can do. That. And let's think about, are we concerned about the distance here? I think I'm going to live with it for now. Rather than move these um, storages closer to where they're doing the mining. I think I'm okay with where it's at. Now let's make sure that um, we give them an area to fill with dirt. Uh, that is this tower. Let's edit the area. I think these can overlap. This one, I'm going to allow filling of dirt. That's the mining team. And then let's clear all these designations, these old mining designations out of here. All that can go. Boom. We may come back and do this later. And now I just want to get some um, dirt fill. Let's fill. Both of these mining control towers are limiting the fill product to dirt. We'll slant up there. Oops. Slant up there. I just want to make sure trucks can get it everywhere they need to efficiently. Just going to put an angle on these. Uh, maybe all the way across. And then let's open up this a little bit more. That'll do. And then put fill designations so this gets filled with dirt so it looks all nice. You all the way down to you. Boom. Get rid of these old ones. And that can fill in. And then if I want that to fill right away, I think all I need to do is pause this. Boom. And I think we'll see these trucks, to the extent they get dirt, they're not doing too much dirt mining right now. I think they'll start filling this in. We may have to come back and check that. All right, let's make our rounds, make our rounds. That's those guys. What are these guys doing? Um, they have plenty of ground to chew on. Uh, we can do a similar thing here, though. Let's give these guys a designation to fill with dirt. I'm either starving for dirt or I have way too much, it seems like. That hill's kind of tall, so I want a buffer of at least two spaces, because as things start tumbling down, um, I don't want it to overlap with this uh, fill designation. Because it kind of can create issues later for us. We don't want. Okay, we'll tilt this up just like before. See if they let me do it. They will not let me do it there, but I can do it here and just slide over. This hill's not quite as tall. Hill. Um, I guess that's fine. Level two, all dirt. Uh, what's 
going on here that won't let me do. That can all be level two, and then I just need to make sure these are actually right. Look wrong. There we go. That looks better. So that crew is doing well. Uh, it looks like we're all stocked up on coal. So I'm going to pull these guys off. That's this crew. One, two, and one, two, three, four. I'm going to put them over working with these folks. Two, and I still have another one. One, two, four. That's done. Let's go kind of clockwise around the island. These guys, there's a miner here. He's trying to flatten this for me. Let's give that. Oh, he's got designations. What's going on, fella? Your truck doesn't have a place to dump the dirt because I got too much dirt. Um. Yeah, this part's not super efficient. Okay, that fill designation's been fully exploited. Done. Let's clear these designations. Got a little bit of new land that's been filled in here. Maybe we can do some stuff here, a little bit at least. Um, but I need to make sure they only put dirt to you. We can just give them a little bit of help. This isn't going to last long. He's going to fill this up real quick, but at least it's something. That'll give his truck a shorter distance to go. I've got a big thing here. Big fill designation for dirt here. Let's um fix that too and make sure there's more room or extend it out. Um I need to find the tower that is controlling that. This guy here. Hey what, let's change that so we don't have to hunt for it next time. Up a mine control tower right here. Quick build, get rid of everything. Just allow for dirt. Edit the area. And we'll make this nice and big. Can trash the old one, I think. So long. And let's extend this fill designation. It's only going to allow dirt. And I'm just storing this for later if we need it. Which we might, we might not. If we don't, we'll dump it in the water. Uh, and you guys can go even higher if you like. Don't have any immediate plans to mine gold. That's kind of what we're on the verge of covering up in this area. If we look at the ore, yeah, there's some sand. I'm not even getting into the gold yet. So we'll dump some dirt there. That is kind of, I think, half the dirt coming out of here. Oh, these guys are starting to fill too, which is good. Um, I should connect this dirt supply up to this fill area. But um, I'm not going to do that right now. I don't feel like it. Should. Not going to do it. All right, it looks like we're full on sulfur. We need to turn this guy back on to bringing us sludge. See, this guy's probably close to empty. But I can actually turn this guy down to level one. And when our ship gets back, which should be any second, I can speed up time, actually. Should be any second? Maybe not. Come on. Come on. Uh, is there a way to tell where he is? I don't think so. 
Yeah, but it'd be cool if there was a little timer showing how far out he was or when he's going to be back. The sulfur mine has been pulled from. I can tell that pretty easily. So that guy should be wheeling in here. I want him to wheel in and then pause him. Here he comes. That'll be the last load of sulfur we need for a while. Got a bunch of new workers. Okay, I'm going to put the time down to single speed. And I'm going to unpause a bunch of these guys so they can get caught up. And we're going to get a lot more sludge coming in here too. And I'm going to pause this guy, let him empty out all his sulfur. That's going to take a while. Um, we've got the workers. Let's go full on. That's good for a while, that whole area. This coal plant, um, old coal mine is getting filled in fairly quickly. Let's improve that. I'm just gonna grab a storage and just get a little closer to where we're dumping. Boom. Rock. Unity is looking fantastic, so I'll quick build. And I'm just going to pull off of this. <sighs> that looks kind of goofy. Can't accept it. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to get out of planning mode. I can accept. Unpause this. Unassign a truck from there, assign a truck to here. And make sure. I don't want trucks bringing rock into this. So I'll turn off trucking there. I don't care if trucks come by and pull that off. Um, do I? No, that's fine. And this needs to be a keep empty. Uh, do not want trucks bringing things here, but they can definitely take stuff out. That'll optimize this just a little tiny bit. All right, what else, what else? Why do I have so much recycled copper? What's going on? First backed up. Um, let's. That's crazy. I don't think I've seen that before. Is did I accidentally pause the belt or something? And yeah, none's going in here. That belt is not paused. What's the story, fellas? Something's wrong. Something's wrong, and it's probably obvious. Yeah, these should be filled with copper. Okay. Is it something backed up? Impure copper. I'm confused. There's something wrong over here, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Impure copper comes out of these guys. Comes down here. Into these guys. This guy claims he's waiting on impure copper. Waiting for products. Oh! Waiting on acid. Alright. We're just out of acid. We can solve that problem fairly easy. Acid guy is... Yeah, there's our acid reservoir. It's empty. We just got to turn this guy on. Boom. 
once we get more space and things, um, maybe I can put more storages and I won't have to toggle these things on and off so often. And I'm kind of conserving workers too. That's why I'm doing it also. Anyway, that will resolve and we'll start producing copper and we'll chew through this recycle. I was about ready to cut off the supply of crushed copper ore, but I don't think we, I don't think we need to do that. Maintenance looks fine. Diesel looks good. It's actually climbing. I was having real problems with that a few episodes ago. Between episodes. And this guy is ready to mine some more copper. Let's give him some designations. I would love to get this mine done. Uh, so let's... You mine copper. Let's clear all the current designations. I want you to go deep, a little deeper, and without getting stuck, hopefully. This particular excavator seems to like getting himself stuck. That, we need to go down all there. There, I guess we can extend out this way. This is all got to be taken back. Stuff is going to collapse on us, I'm pretty sure. This stuff, we'll have to deal with it. Time comes, you can take all this back. We've got more, a little bit of nugget of carp, copper there. That'll keep him busy, it's just one excavator and a couple trucks. They'll feed this in, in fact I can turn on this crusher, there's a little bit still in storage there. Uh, is that on? Why aren't you spinning? Oh, you're actually backed up. Yeah, he's backed up. I'm going to pause him. That has to do with the acid. So this guy can fill up the storage. That guy really doesn't have much to do, the crusher. And we've got tons of crushed over here. That's where that copper feeds. goes around and into here. Long term, what I think I'm going to do, once I clear out this mine... Man, I'm half the episode just explaining things when I'm getting to the main event here. But once this we get this copper out of here, I may put a ramp in, maybe in from the side. And that'll be the entrance to the mine. And we'll just supply much closer to where we're actually doing the copper processing. And all this, this little stuff will go away. And then we'll uh, obviously fill in and get rid of this ramp and just dig in deep over here. All right, let's get back to it. I think that's enough. Maintenance is dipping a little. What could be the issue? We've got plenty of got plenty of ore. We'll keep an eye on the maintenance. I think we're gonna be all right. Uh, food. One last thing. I just want to check our food visually. Yeah, we're okay for now. All right, let's get back to it. We want to do a couple things here. We want to turn the compost. We're not producing anything yet because we don't have excess food. In fact, we could probably pause all these things. Save workers and electricity for the moment. We want to turn whatever comes out of here, the compost, into fertilizer. And we want to take animal feed byproduct from over here and feed it in to one of these lines. Maybe that's the first thing to do. Let's do, let's do that. That is this belt right here. Just needs to be reversed. Um, are we going to scale? Let me pull this belt from here back to here. And I'm pretty confident I don't want this anymore. So all that's going to go. And we're just going to reverse these belts. I don't know if there's a faster way to do it. I got a bunch of segments here. Boom. This is the animal food byproduct. I think of producing corn mash. Yeah. Uh, reverse you somehow. Yes, we got to delete the corner probably. And then out and around or something. It's pretty busy over here. I guess we can hop over. I 
to think of where to run the belt. I guess up high next to this ethanol line. So we were going to run water there, weren't we? Maybe we have water over here we can run. I don't need water through there, I guess. Um, unless we put another farm here, then we might. Can travel under these belts. Let's uh let's do it. Let's do it. U shaped conveyor. I'll go with the upgraded ones. We really don't need it. I'll have to reconnect that one. I don't think it's gonna just snap together the way I want it to. Hmm. Is there a clean path under any of these belts? Mm. Can't do that. Where are we? Okay, we're underneath somewhere. Let's match pillars if we can. I'm underneath the ethanol pipe. I misclicked and then my right click didn't grab the way I wanted it to. Probably deleting something I don't want to delete. Yep. And that's going to mess up my pillars. All right. You get out of my face. You get out of my face. See if I can surgically get in there. That's the one I wanted gone. Got back to you. And you're going to travel down this line. I'll come back and fix that uh, belt. Do this while I have it active. This is food. Pig food, or animal food, I should say. Can I get you down here somehow? Can join up anywhere, really. Can join up. Animal food from the ethanol processing finds its way into here, gets turned into compost. And this belt we need to fix probably. Oh man. <laughs> it's always something. Always something. Can you reach? Okay. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Drive me crazy here. Get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of that. Quick remove, quick remove. You need to at least get past that. Then you can come up. I 
That guy can dump his animal food there, and then you just need to participate. Like that. Man, more struggle than it should be. Okay, now we can fix this. Black conveyor. Bring my fruit across, keeping the same pillars. Unity looks fantastic. I think we're actually at the max. We're real close to being at the max. Why don't we do something with that extra Unity? Um, we can save on maintenance or something. Save on maintenance. Let's do... Let's double save on maintenance for the heck of it and chew that Unity back a little bit. All right, that's that part done. We got rid of the old fertilizer production. Now we're up over here, this area, I think. Let's look at the recipe again. Compost into fertilizer. We want the level two mixer and we just need to bring in water. And we could do maybe three per belt. We'll start with two mixers. You get by with a little pipe, but we'll probably go big pipe. So we got to see where water's going to come over. Let's assume it's this guy. Guess I can grab a big pipe. We may run this. May run that water further down at some point. Don't think it's priority for right this moment. I'm going to use the big pipe. Keep this high and go across. We'll move it if we need to some other time. Boom. I'm thinking in here somehow. <laughs> I'm thinking in this little corner somehow is where we could produce it just in case we wanted to get another greenhouse in. I guess it would just be at the mo- uh, I could do something like that, but it would look ugly. One. I think trying to get two in here would be a little bit much. Either way, if we stay above the black line there, we'll be all right. All right, um, this black line, by the way. Okay. Mixers. Two big mixers. We just need to bring in water and the compost. and then spit out a pipe of fertilizer. I'm looking at my arrows here, where are my inputs? So if we lined up with this, it would look nice. fertilizer out. It looks like they want to have that come out the side or does it matter? No, it looks like I can get fertilizer out the back too. Uh, we'll leave them spaced one apart. Uh, get a bunch of room up here. We'll leave them spaced like that. All right, compost is going to come across and I have no idea how much, if any, comes through. guys are going to turn compost into fertilizer. You need water. Let's run this main pipe across. Kind of like this. 
That is ethanol. We don't want to join up with that. But let's pretend this thing continues on somewhere important. And then let's pull off a level T pipe. Okay. They've got water. They, in theory, have compost. Out's going to come the fertilizer. And now we need to rework our fertilizer pipes, which is this, this lower one. So let's do, let's go through, well, let's route it first. Let's route it first. Fertilizer is going to come out. an extra pillar there. We can worry about that later. Later never. And let's get these guys connected. This is the fertilizer coming out. Beep. Uh, what do I have snapping turned off? Okay. Boom to boom. Boom to boom. Our fertilizer pipe. And now we need to fix the routing here. A fertilizer needs this needs to change direction. Fertilizer comes in, comes in, comes in, goes and feeds this farm. And it looks like there's a section right here that's probably going the wrong direction. Yep. Reverse that. Now fertilizer feeds into this main. The main needs to change direction. Although that that segment's fine. That can keep going. In case we ever build out here, which we never will. Um, this needs to be reversed. Fertilizer is going to come down the main this way. I don't see any extra segments of pipe at that intersection, so we can just reverse here, keep going down. Down, down, down. And no extra sections of pipe here. We can reverse this guy. Let these two farms get it. You change direction. That's fine. Obviously, this needs to change direction. And down, and then this needs to change direction just in case we expand off to the left. And... Yep, yep. I'm just looking for hidden segments. I don't know how much fertilizer we're actually going to get. But we'll get something. Uh, this guy is fine. Yeah, that's all fine. Why is that fine? That seems like that should have needed to be changed. Oh no, that's fine. Because this is where the fertilizer used to come in. It was off of this guy. Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Yeah, it used to come in this way, so that is going in the right direction. Okay, let's trace our main back. That is been reversed. Now we need to do these guys. Okay, that is all fine. And that is all fine. Good. Main is good. Uh, and then these two need to... Yeah, that's fine, right? It's coming in this way, it goes down, comes through here and goes in. Yeah, I think that's all good. I think that's all good. Plenty of water for the farms. Corn's backed up for the ethanol already. That's kind of cool. Awesome. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think what we do now is wait for this to fill up. And then, um, then we'll turn on the actual processing. We'll let these things build. One of them's probably going to be paused, at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're good. I think we're good. That's food. 
Water. Water for the colony. And what are we going to do about routing all this, <laughs> rerouting all these belts that are taking rock out of here and maybe widening this, this path to the outside world so we're not so encased. Got to think about that. Uh, these guys should have plenty to do. I may actually move their stuff further. Hmm. This could, once this area gets flattened out, this could become farming. Or it could be something where we input wood and do the... Ah, uh, there's three ingredients for the furniture. Where's that? Uh, household goods or something? Glass, steel, and wood. I guess we would do that. We would do that way back here where we've got glass and steel. Belt wood over, make furniture somewhere, maybe where the colony currently is, make furniture, and then somehow belt it. Belt it into the colony. Boy, that's a long belt. But that may be the way to do it, rather than belting steel and glass. Power looks good. Maintenance looks like it's fine. Diesel is climbing. Food looks fine. How are we going to clean this up, or what are we going to do? We have a little supply of water here. In fact, it's a huge reservoir. 25,000 liters or units of water. We can throw more groundwater wells. But I would like to hook that into the water main. And where is our water main? It's been kind of assembled and disassembled several times, but it looks like it's here. So this is our water main. If we want to connect that up, we'd have to come in through here. Oh man, it's a mess. Bit of a mess. Um, and get this guy tied in. I have to think about that. I need time to think about that one. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Let's uh, change gears for a second here and look at our ship that's paused. We want this guy to start doing contract work for us. Let's sign a contract, sludge. Let's change these to sludge, sludge, and sludge. And then we need to reverse these belts. This guy needs sulfur to go deliver it. This is the belt that feeds sulfur into this terminal. This is the belt that takes sulfur out. I'm going to pause that. Get this guy loaded up with sulfur and then he can go do his contract and bring us some sludge. So that I think is all set. I'll unpause. Unpause you. Unpause that. I accidentally clicked. These guys are all caught up, but it is going to get busy. I'm going to pause some of these, though. We're not going to need all of these, I don't think. I only need all of them when it's really backed up. So that is that. How's our copper recycling? Is that starting to get processed? Yeah. Yep. That's all back. Our acid situation is improved. That tank will fill up. Copper's going. Let's take another look, see if we can buy another ship. We can. Let's do it. Always wait for this thing to get down to 600. I'm doing this just so we can make use of our construction part threes and keep the factory going. That's the main reason. Um, but I am anticipating us using a lot of these ships. Let's trade that. Still have a gazillion construction part threes in production. Got lots of workers right now. How's my iron situation? Iron's looking better. Let's, um, let's, yeah, the iron plate line is kind of backed up. Let's open this up a little bit more. Get a little more production of construction part threes. I seem to have the workers, so let's do it. Uh, boy, I have four of these running. More than enough, I think. 
Maintenance looks fine. Copper looks fine. Uh, our copper miner has a lot of work to do. Got a lot of room for storing things. I think we're good. I think I'm going to end this one here. And then between episodes, at least for a few minutes, if not 12 hours, I'm going to think about what we need to do here to actually put down our housing units. If we go with, right now we have housing level two, I think, over here. Yeah, housing level two, it holds 130. If we go with housing level three, this takes glass. We have a ton of glass over here. We think, I think we do. We could always smelt up some more. Yeah, this plant's been kind of paused for many, many years in game, probably. We have tons of glass. If we go with housing three, we don't have to be quite as spread out. Um, we've got 1,400 people. And these guys hold 230 each. So that's, I don't know, what is that? Five would be 1150. So maybe a couple more over that. Maybe seven? That seems like that's what we have now. Now we have a ton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we could house all the same people with seven of these units. And I kind of want them right in here. I'd like to get like, yeah, maybe two rows right, <laughs> right in the middle. Uh, maybe we could, we're going to have to move some belts to pull this off, unfortunately. But maybe three rows of three would be nice to start out with. And then we need to think about what are we going to do with the waste that comes out and how are we going to get water in? Water in, I don't think is going to be a huge issue. We can bring the water main up somehow through this mess. It's a bit of a mess through here. We can bring the water main up, maybe feed some storages that hold water over here. And then have these groundwater wells feed into there too. And then any excess, if that's full, excess goes back on the main. And then have the main come up, do the same thing. The main comes up, tries to feed storage for the colony. If it's full, it just kind of loops back down. I think, and that's what we'll do. And then I think the housing here is probably going to be permanent. We won't have to rip things up. This is all going to have to get ripped up over here. But housing could be permanent. Oh man, look at all this stuff. Yeah, but we got to think about waste, getting rid of the waste and potentially recycling it. Might be able to pull this off somehow. We get real snug. I have to see. I hate to move all these belts right now. We could do it though. Not worried about the material cost, it's just the time. I think we could almost get three across. Not quite. Can't quite get three down. All right, that's it for this episode. For now, this is Glidercat, and thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series on Captain of Industry. Is it Insula Mortis map? Man, is it challenging. And I think when I set this up, I may have toggled the hills to be a little higher or something thinking, oh, that'll be more resources and more dirt to do fill. I think I may have done that when I did the starting conditions on the game. But man, it's tough. It's tough getting wide open flat spaces. But if we move this colony, boom, over to where I'm thinking of doing it, that's going to give us a bunch more flat space for in industry. And um, so yeah, that's what we're working towards. We could be doing the lab equipment three right now. I bet anything we could squeeze it in here. But since I'm focused on the colony now, let's keep going on that path and see if we can't get it done. Um, once this is bridged through, it's real close. Then we'll have another path to get water if we need to or to route waste easily. In fact, that's probably where we'll route the waste, maybe. There or over here. Anyway, that's it. 
Special thanks to GladderCat patrons and channel members for their support of the channel. Deeply, deeply appreciate that support. If anyone else has been with the series this long and would like to help the GladderCat channel survive, there's links to do so in the description. And with that, I'll see you in the next episode.